Right now at 10, Minnesota's special session nears its end. How decisions made in St. Paul will impact our region. Plus, education programs coming to Michigan, the new goal for community colleges. And an Iron Range community remembers one of their own, the new effort to ensure no one else is lost to domestic violence. From CBS 3 Duluth, this is the CBS 3 News at 10. We are just two hours from the end of Minnesota's special session. Lawmakers were given until July 1st to pass legislation on the state budget in order to avoid a government shutdown. They have just one budget bill left to pass, a portion of the tax omnibus bill. Good evening, I'm Kendall Jarbo. Kristen is off tonight. Thanks for joining us. Lawmakers already approved a modest police accountability bill and to end Governor Tim Walz's emergency powers. I spoke with politicians on both sides of the aisle who share what their wins and losses mean for northern Minnesota. The Senate will come to order. The theme of this special session, compromise. As for what's in it for the Northland, DFL Representative Liz Olson is happy with funding help for Duluth schools and a forgivable loan to help attract a buyer of the Verso paper mill. What Olson isn't happy with, no bonding bill and a lack of local infrastructure project funding. Divided government is, is hard and it means that there is a lot of compromise and things that we give up on uh, as we get to the end of session. So I think we did again, did really well in this situation, but we did have to give up some things. Republican Senator Jason Rarick is happy with the tax bill and how it impacts small businesses and people on unemployment. What he wish happened. You know, I would have liked to have seen more money go into the jobs uh, area to give more uh, relief to businesses through grants or the loan programs because of all the shutdowns and what they went through. Despite the losses, both lawmakers agree government is about give and take. The people of Duluth really give us our charge as Duluth legislators, and it's always loud and clear. And I heard that a lot this session that you know the pandemic didn't didn't impact everybody equally. I hate to sound like a both Olson and Rarick say they wish all of this had been done in the regular session, but are pleased with the special session's outcome. A small section of a big federal budget is raising concerns for one Northland lawmaker. The proposed 2022 spending bill for the Interior, Environment and Related Agencies came out this week. It includes a provision saying none of the funds can be used to review or approve a mine plan within the Rainy River watershed of the Superior National Forest. Republican Congressman Pete Stauber says that would stop development at four area mines, including Mintac, Menorca, and North Shore. Stauber says he strongly opposes the provision, calling it an attack on mining jobs in Minnesota. The bill just started going through the approval process. Here is a live look at the Capitol in Madison. Today, the Wisconsin Senate passed the $87 billion budget bill. Now it's up to Governor Tony Evers, who can sign it or use his partial veto powers to rewrite the document. If he does nothing, it automatically becomes law. Meanwhile, Wisconsin is continuing its pandemic-related unemployment benefits. Evers vetoed a Republican bill that would eliminate a $300 a week federal bonus for unemployed people. The bonus was designed to help the unemployed during the pandemic. It's scheduled to end September 6th. Republican legislatures pushed the bill, insisting businesses can't find workers, and the bonus is keeping people from seeking work. And in Michigan, Governor Gretchen Whitmer highlighted two new education programs coming to the state. The Michigan Reconnect and Future for Frontliners programs plans to put people on their path to pursuing a degree or skill certificate through a local in-district community college. Whitmer wants to extend the programs to more applicants with the goal of having 60% of Michigan residents achieve a post-secondary degree or certificate by 2030. We also know that success isn't measured by the number of students that enroll. Success is going to be measured by the number of students that earn their degree or certificate. And that's why we're not just investing in students, we're investing in student success overall. Today, Michigan lawmakers approved a $17.1 billion K-12 budget, one they hope will eliminate a long-standing funding gap among districts and boost all school funding by 10%. Turning to your forecast, Dave is here with the weather. I mean, we were talking about the weather today, and I thought it was perfect. Yeah, some folks like it on the warmer side, some on the more humid side, some on the cooler side. Well, today and tomorrow should have a little bit of all of that for 
somebody. All right, what are we getting now as far as dew points go? I talk about these because they are a good gauge of humidity levels. Some like it humid, some like it dry. But when you get the dew points into the 60s, it feels kind of muggy. 50s is riding the fence and 40s and lower feels pretty dry. So a lot of places are in the 50s and 60s at the moment, but we're starting to swap out air masses as lower pressure leaves and higher pressure comes into the region. So the showers we had earlier today they're going away pretty rapidly. 20% chance at best for more in the next couple of hours. Then we'll drop our low temp to about 55 degrees. And then with cooler and drier air coming in, at least for a day, tomorrow, many lakeside towns could only be around 70. But it still may strike towards 80 farther inland. That'll be a respite from heat and humidity, frankly, because it could come back with hints of a vengeance on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. How warm will it get for Independence Day? I'll talk about that with the seven-day forecast in a few more minutes. Thanks, Dave. An Iron Range community came together today to honor and remember one of their own who died earlier this month, suddenly and tragically. Police say Kristen Bicking of Virginia was killed by her ex-boyfriend, Derek Malovich. He has since been charged with second-degree murder. Now, as CBS 3's Natalie Grant shares, Kristen's friends and families are hoping her death will create awareness in the community so no one else is lost to domestic violence. She was very carefree giving, great friend. She was there for anybody who needed it. Kristen Bicking's friends and family gathered in Virginia Wednesday, memorializing her life while bringing awareness to a growing problem. Kara Reddy was Kristen's twin sister. She says her family never thought domestic violence would impact them so personally. You don't think it's going to happen to your family, but it's a very real situation and it, and it happens way more than it should and when people aren't aware of how often it does happen like I wasn't until this happened their goal educate the community about the real effects of domestic violence Mandy Alto is the executive director of Advocates for Family Peace the local organization has supported Kristen's family during this difficult time domestic violence is a community issue the only way it will end is if the entire community comes together acknowledges that the violence exists and is committed to ending it. Alto says domestic violence is more widespread than people know. They serve more than 600 adults and children in northern St. Louis County each year. But studies show only 20% of victims report their abuse. Her family hopes through sharing Kristen's story, victims know they are not alone. Like she had her struggles, just like everybody does, but she was on the right track and shouldn't have happened. Malovich is back in court for a hearing July 19th. If you or someone you know is a victim of domestic violence, we have resources on our website, cbs3duluth.com. A man arrested in connection to the death of a Virginia man has been released from custody. Police responded to a fight at Pine Mill Court in Virginia Saturday. They found 41-year-old Ryan Motes unresponsive. They did CPR and gave him Narcan, but he later died at the hospital. Police initially arrested a 31-year-old man in connection to Motes' death. He was facing a manslaughter charge, but after investigating, the St. Louis County Attorney's Office released him from custody. They are still waiting on autopsy results. The Historic Hills Youth and Family Services shut its doors for good today following a closing ceremony. After years of operation, the organization was forced to close due to financial difficulties. Leaders of the Woodland Hills facility say this is a sad day for their staff and student body. What started as an orphanage, the Hills program has been around since 1909, teaching kids lessons they can carry with them throughout life. If I could say something to a student, it would be, remember the important lessons you learned here, carry them out and give them to others, much like we were lighting candles, bring that light into the world. The organization is thankful for the positive impact the program made in their students' lives. We have more information on our website at cbs3duluth.com. Three women are suing the Mayo Clinic, accusing a doctor of pulling their medical records to view their nude photos. 28-year-old Ahmad al Ayer had no reason to look at the photos in question, the lawsuits claim. The allegations against him include the unauthorized access of more than 1,600 patient files. He was charged with unauthorized computer access in April. Two of the three lawsuits filed against the Mayo Clinic are reportedly seeking class action status to represent a large group of victims. 
Facing one of the worst blood shortages in recent memory, Essentia Health is urging people to consider donating. This shortage has forced some hospitals across the country to delay elective surgeries. Essentia says the situation is mainly fueled by the COVID-19 pandemic because fewer people donated blood during it and many medical procedures were postponed. Supply is low for all blood types. Still to come on live local CBS3, the Duluth Public Library just received an eye-opening donation. How they hope to help readers coming up next. We exit the month of June, more than two and a half inches short as far as rain goes. There was a little rain action for some towns earlier this evening. I'll talk about if that builds into the 1st of July or not, and what the 4th of July will hold as far as temperatures go. You're watching the CBS 3 News at 10 with Kristen Vaki, Sports with Kelly Hinson, and Weather with Meteorologist Dave Anderson on live local CBS 3. Get your news on the go, the CBS 3 mobile app. Get 25% off our low slumberland price. Incredible deals. Huge markdowns, plus 25% off our low Slumberland price. What a sale. The 4th of July sale at Slumberland Furniture. From morning coffee runs to family trips, away games. Campouts and weekend projects. No adventure is too big for the Honda lineup with available all wheel drive. Contact your Honda dealer to learn more or shop online. As fourth generation bankers, we have learned what it means to be a part of our community. Our family has taught us the importance of supporting and investing in the community that has given us so much. This is why we created Grant Pierce Plaza and our new business, Coffee on Me. It is our way of saying thanks to those who have supported us through the years. We are excited to carry on our tradition of serving the community both today and into our bright future. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Hi folks, Joe Namath here, and if you're on Medicare, this is important. You're now entitled to eliminate co-pays and get dental care, dentures, eyeglasses, prescription coverage, in-home aids, unlimited transportation, and home-delivered meals, all at no additional cost. Plus, your zip code may have coverage with the give-back benefit that adds money back to your Social Security check every month. Look. With the uncertainty of the virus and vaccines, you need to get everything you're entitled to. Here's the bottom line. Call to get significant benefits at no additional cost and see if your zip code has coverage with the give back benefit. Millions of people have trusted the Medicare coverage helpline. You can too. Call now. It's free. Call 1-800-916-5591. That's 1-800-916-5591 now. Sometimes it's the little things that mean the most, and a recent donation to the Duluth Public Library is one example. The Duluth Lions Club donated eyeglasses for older folks who struggle with their vision. They hope this will help people have an easier time when browsing for books, using computers, or any of the library's other resources. Well, we, um, we offer help like on the computers, doing job applications or other things, and sometimes people would realize they couldn't see the screen. And sometimes if just simple magnifying reading glasses can help make all the difference and help them get the work done. It's a small thing, but it could improve someone's life quite a bit. The free glasses will be available at all three branches. People will also have the option to keep their glasses. Now, the CBS3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Get to keep your glasses, that's a good deal. I was getting quite used to these. Don't want to give them up quite yet. And some folks don't want to give up quite yet. The beauty we had today, it was a perfect mixture of sun and cloud up the North Shore. Temperatures, like Kendall mentioned, were right in her wheelhouse. She just loved these conditions. 
Well, things are going to change a little bit tomorrow. The cloudy quotient in the sky will fade. It'll be a little bit more blue tomorrow. And temperatures right by the lake will fade as well, but only for a day because then it gets pretty toasty. Well, it starts the process Friday and then gets awfully warm for Saturday and the 4th of July. We talk about how warm with the forecast here in just a bit. Right now we talk about the current conditions coming in from the airport and it's 66 degrees up there. 68% is the relative humidity. So temperature and dew point are reasonably close together. Humidity levels are up. But again, we're swapping out air masses tomorrow, thanks in part to an easterly, northeasterly wind. And it should dry up and cool down, like I mentioned, as we go through our day tomorrow. Current air pressure, 30.08 inches of mercury. And taking a look now at our current temperatures, we've dropped it to 60 in Ironwood, 63 waters meet. Anywhere from 58 to 68 degrees in Wisconsin, the cool spot, of course, being La Pointe, surrounded by water, and the warm spot well inland, Solon Springs. In Minnesota, Ely still at 68 degrees, 67 for Grand Rapids, and a hair cooler towards Hibbing, 66 right now, Moose Lake, and 59 degrees up the Gunflint Trail. Most of us will follow the Gunflint and drop our low temps into the 50s during the overnight. So, 20% chance for rain in Minnesota. It did pay off earlier this evening, and some cells did get a little bit rambunctious. Had some reports coming in from Hibbing about a brief but pretty intense downpour. And we do need the rain, so we'll take it by the bucketful, brief bucketful, if that's the only way we're going to get it. And now that these showers are fading away, we're probably not going to get much more. If we grin and push it just a little bit, we'll say 20% chance for a few more till about midnight as far as showers and thunderstorms go. And then our low pressure system goes away. Higher pressure comes into the region. And that sets us up for that day tomorrow that's going to be mostly sunny, but a little bit cool by the lake. Only 70 by the lake thanks to an easterly wind, but could be close to 80 ringing the area well inland. And then that ring closes on Friday as everybody gets into the 80s. Even the Twin Ports should be in the lower 80s as we do start to warm up. And that warm up will culminate with a temperature range pretty close to 90 for Saturday and for Sunday the 4th of July. So if you don't like it that hot, grin and bear that as well because by Monday we start to go the other way and cool down a bit again. Tonight in Minnesota, the low temps, they are going to be in the 50s with that very vague 20% rain chance. Should be partly cloudy for Wisconsin and the UP with low temps there in the 50s. And high temps there tomorrow should be 70 by the lake, 78 inland with sunshine. Minnesota gets sunshine as well, 60s by the lake, close to 80 inland. And now with the extended forecast, the holiday weekend should be sunny and hot with highs both days, Saturday, Sunday near 90. And then dropping back into the 80s by Monday with our next rain chance, Kendall, which then gives way back to the 70s by next Tuesday and Wednesday. There's a little bit of everything on that seven day. Yeah, we do try to mix the bag up around here and <laughs> keep everybody at least partially happy. I think so. Okay, thanks, Dave. Summer is here and many paddlers are making their way towards Lake Superior, but the lake can be dangerous without the right precautions. Paddle Safe Twin Ports is a resource to navigate those dangers. It's a data-based website that informs paddlers about weather, water conditions, and shipping schedules so they can be better prepared for their trip. Creators of the website say more people are paddling in the harbor, putting them in the direct line of danger for ships and motorized boats. Jake Boyce of Day Tripper of Duluth says to always be aware of your surroundings since lake conditions can change rapidly. Most important is know your own limits. Um, everyone is comfortable paddling in different places, different speeds and all that. Uh, especially out on Lake Superior, you have to know what you are capable of. Local paddler experts warn paddling on Lake Superior is not for beginners and to pick out areas most fitted to your experience. To learn more about safety precautions, you can visit our website. Silicon on Live Local, CBS3, a major league dream, 60 years in the making comes true. We'll take you to the Yankee Stadium next. CBS3 Live Cams, brought to you by KohlerChev.com. Now featuring the Kohler Express deal online buying solution. KohlerChev.com, a better way to buy. Don't miss the giant three-day sale at Home Furniture. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, get up to an extra 10% off sale prices, plus no money down, three-year special financing, and free shipping. This Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the giant three-day sale, only at Home Furniture. 
injured? Call Stockman Law Office. Automobile collision injuries involving taxis, Ubers, lifts, buses, semis, and motorcycles. Call anytime, 218-576-8599. No recovery, no fee. Stockman Law Office. Serious injuries, serious law. Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? How do you get in front of companies or get a patent? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors just like you for 35 years. And thousands of people contact them every month. With 65 offices, you can meet with an InventHelp representative near you who will keep your idea confidential and explain their invention process step by step. InventHelp has helped over 10,000 inventors get patents. And they offer 3D animations and prototyping services to help demonstrate your idea. InventHelp's exclusive data bank includes over 9,000 companies who have agreed to confidentially review new ideas, like yours. Don't wonder what to do next. Take action right now and get the help you need from InventHelp. InventHelp. Call today for free information. 800-461-0354. That's 800-461-0354 now. When Grandma suggested cookies, Kyle wasn't expecting the new Nestle Toll House Chocolate Chip Cookie Blizzard. Two beloved treats, soft-baked Nestle Toll House Chocolate Chip Cookies and world-famous DQ Soft Serve, all in one treat. The good times roll when these two get together, just like G-Ma and her G-Son, making memories while mixing two favorites. With the Nestle Toll House Chocolate Chip Cookie Blizzard, only at DQ. Get it delivered at DQ.com. Mining. It's a part of Minnesota's history that affects everyone in the Northland still to this day. Join me, Kristen Bakke, every Tuesday for Eye on Mining. Brought to you by Range Regional Airport. Watch Eye on Mining with Kristen Bakke every Tuesday at 10. Only on live local CBS3. Home Sleep Express presents Casper Mattresses. You'll love your tomorrow when you sleep on a Casper tonight. Now get 15% off any Casper mattress, plus no money down, six-year special financing. Casper Mattresses, now at Home Sleep Express. Northwest Outlet with all the brand names you want, including the North Face and Columbia. Coming up Thursday on CBS 3 this morning, the latest updates on Minnesota's state budget plan. And we're in for a much cooler Thursday, but the heat returns for the holiday. So wake up with us starting at 5 a.m. Today on CBS 3 This Morning. On the go, the CBS 3 mobile app. A woman's big league dream finally comes true after waiting for decades. Gwen Goldman got to make a good on a goal she started in 1961, when at 10 years old she wrote the New York Yankees, asking them to be a Batgirl for the team. She was denied and told she'd feel, quote, out of place in the dugout. But recently, Goldman's daughter reached back out to the team who said they would be honored to have her on the field. And so decades later, Kelly Gwynn took to the field in uniform. Yeah. Look at that. Where she belongs. <laughs> That's right. I mean, I think it just shows to never give up. Never give up. And we got so far to go. More women. Exactly. And shout out to her daughter, too, yeah. for recognizing that dream yep. and then writing back to them. Women belong. That's where the, the, she belongs on that diamond. <laughs> that is right. Coming up in sports, there was a lot on the line at Public Schools Stadium tonight. Duluth FC needed a win over Minneapolis City to stay in contention for the NPSL North Conference title. Highlights are coming up next. Good boy. You're such a good boy. I think it's time we got a dog. But my landlord won't let me have pets. I've got an idea about that, too. got big dreams and a bold imagination. Let's see how we can help. National Bank of Commerce. We make more possible. It took us years to find the perfect bun for Culver's Pretzel House Pub Burger. It's got the nice pretzel flavor on the outside, but when you open it up, it's light and airy. It's got a nice sweet flavor to it. It literally melts in your mouth. This bun is perfect for a Pretzel House Pub Burger. Seared fresh beef, tangy mustard bistro sauce, Pickled red onions, two slices of bacon, served with our signature cheddar cheese sauce. This bun was made for this burger. This is perfect. I think it's an awesome burger. Welcome to Delicious. 
Hi folks, Joe Namath here, and if you're on Medicare, this is important. You're now entitled to eliminate co-pays and get dental care, dentures, eyeglasses, prescription coverage, in-home aids, unlimited transportation, and home-delivered meals, all at no additional cost. Plus, your zip code may have coverage with the give-back benefit that adds money back to your Social Security check every month. Look. With the uncertainty of the virus and vaccines, you need to get everything you're entitled to. Here's the bottom line. Call to get significant benefits at no additional cost and see if your zip code has coverage with the give back benefit. Millions of people have trusted the Medicare coverage helpline. You can too. Call now. It's free. Call 1-800-916-5591. That's 1-800-916-5591 now. So why use Toyota service centers? Well, you wouldn't use just any carpenter, would you? This thing working? No. Keep your Toyota a Toyota. Right now, for a limited time, get 20% off the purchase and installation of premium cabin air filters. See your local Toyota dealer or visit toyota.com to learn more. Toyota, let's go places. School visits are an important part of kind of being a uh, part of the community outside of the TV station here. When I was in sixth grade, that's when I learned meteorology was it for me. Being on the other side of that now, for me being able to kind of pursue that, it's important for me to then be able to get back into the community. If I can go into a classroom and get just one person who was interested or just one person who, you know, leaves there knowing like, wow, I learned something new today. For me, I did my job and that means a lot to me. Watch meteorologist Caitlin Moffitt weekdays at 5 a.m. Now, CBS 3 Sports with Kelly Hinson. There was absolutely a lot on the line at Public Schools Stadium tonight. Duluth FC needed a win over Minneapolis City to stay in contention for the NPSL North Conference title. The Crows of Minneapolis entered the match undefeated, and Duluth riding a four-match win streak. The Blue-Greens applied pressure early. Sydney Warden fires off the crossbar, and Aiden Hill is there to head it home. Duluth grabs a 1-0 advantage in the third minute, but Minneapolis had an answer just over 15 minutes later. Jack Berry rises up, puts home the header, and we are tied at one at the half. Coming out in the second, Duluth goes down a player on a double yellow card, which really opened the door for the Crows. Eli Goldman in the 59th minute here, nets one. Goldman scored again 14 minutes later, and then the floodgates pretty much burst open. Duluth FC falls 6-1. to one. And Minneapolis City clinches their third straight NPSL North title. The Minnesota Twins have won seven out of their last ten games. I mean, they're still 12 and a half games back in the division, but hey, seven out of ten. Another brief weather delay in Chicago tonight. Monday's game was postponed. Yesterday's game was briefly delayed for rain as well. And probably because of this, top of the first, Dylan Cease already in trouble on the bump for the Cubs because the bringer of rain... Bring in the rain. Josh Donaldson slams his 13th home run of the season to put the Twins up 1-0. But Sox went on to tie it up in the second. They'd add more on three unanswered by the third. And it got pretty ugly from there. And it continues to get ugly. A last check in the eighth. White Sox up 13-2 on the Twins. But a wild one for the Brewers. They look to sweep the Cubs for the first time at home since 2013 earlier today, Aaron Ashby took the mound in his MLB debut for the Brew Crew, and it didn't go his way to begin with. Started off like this as Javi Baez drives one in with a shot down the line. The Cubs scored seven runs in the top of the first, but the tables begin to turn in the following inning. Brewers down seven. Luis Urias chips away with a two-run homer. Urias went four for five on the day with two home runs. Adames then in the fourth, Willie Adames joins the party, hitting a grand slam to double the Cubs score, or the Brewers score rather, first grand slam for the Brew Crew this season. And a strong bullpen. And get this, 15 unanswered runs brings the Brewers' win streak to eight. In a major move today, the NCAA has given the green light for athletes to profit off their name, 
image and likeness starting tomorrow. The Division I Board of Directors approved an interim policy that allows athletes to make money from endorsements and sponsorships while retaining eligibility. The decision to suspend restrictions on payments to athletes for th things such as sponsorships, deals, online endorsements, and personal appearances applies to all three divisions or some 460,000 athletes. UMD told me they are fully supportive of opportunities for student athletes to benefit from their legislation. Their priorities will be to educate Bulldog athletes to maintain their NCAA eligibility when it comes to benefiting. And Zam Plant, welcome to Team USA. The forward from Hermantown, Minnesota has officially made the roster for the U18 team. Plant had 29 goals and 32 assists this past season, leading the Hermantown Hawks in scoring in his sophomore year. 23 players who participated in the development camp this week have been selected to the final roster. Camp concluded today at the North Town Center in Amherst, New York, and Plant returned to Duluth tonight. The team will compete August 2nd through, through the 7th at the Linka Gretzky Cup in Czech Republic and Slovakia. A couple tough words there. I got it. Don't worry. The College World Series came to its conclusion in absolute dominating fashion tonight down in Omaha, Nebraska. After 11 previous trips to the College World Series, Mississippi State finally brings home a national title, beating Vanderbilt 9 to nothing. It's the first national championship for any sport at Mississippi State. And that's going to do it for sports tonight. We'll be right back after the break. CBS3 closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health Pharmacies. Keeping things safe, simple, and convenient through mail, local delivery, drive through and curbside pickup services. Don't miss the giant three-day sale at Home Furniture. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, get up to an extra 10% off sale prices, plus no money down, three-year special financing, and free shipping. This Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the giant three-day sale, only at Home Furniture. It's the extreme deal of the day. If you've ever thought about switching internet providers, the time to do it is now. Extreme Access Internet 60 was designed to give you fast internet at a low price. And today we've made that low price even lower. You can get fast internet download speeds up to 60 meg plus in-home Wi-Fi for only $19.99 a month for one year. This is a deal you don't want to miss. Call 877-409-2225. I'm not just a Medford registered nurse, I'm a patient too, who had to make my own decision about getting a COVID-19 vaccine. So I looked at the science for my family and my patients, and then I chose to get my shot. That's why when you ask me, should most people in Wisconsin get a vaccine? My answer is yes. The COVID-19 vaccines are safe and getting one is important. Ask your family doctor what they think. When you watched the CBS3 Grandma's Marathon live shows, you saw a community once again open its doors to the world. Exciting! This is it! Grandma's Weekend! You heard interviews from local people who made it all possible. And joining me now is Blake Shippey of Boxcar, one of the acts performing this weekend. So runners are getting ready. I am joined by Tony Stenzlin. It's just a great time for the community to come out together. For truly local coverage that you deserve, continue watching live, local CBS3. www.insuredeluth.org/help Strong, enduring, and timeless. Stickley, premium solid wood furniture made in America. Handcrafted by experienced artisans. For a limited time, get 35% off the Stickley Mission Collection during the Stickley Independence Day sale exclusively at Home Furniture. If you love them enough to crawl into a play place to get them to come down, then surely you'll check NHTSA.gov slash the right seat to make sure they're in the right car seat. So, Dave, how is the rest of the night looking weather-wise? Oh, not so bad. The rain shower chance we had earlier in the evening is fading away and should be gone by midnight, which is sad news for some folks because we're two and a half inches shy for rain for the month of June. We start July tomorrow with a dry spell. It'll stay dry through the 4th of July, and after a cool down tomorrow, we warm up again towards 90 for the weekend. 
and then nothing ever stays up around here forever. We start to tumble temperature-wise as early as Monday, and that's when we get our next rain chance, 30 to 40 percent chances for showers and storms on Monday and for Tuesday as well. And by next Wednesday, we drop it down to only 71. Well, that is your news at 10. Thanks for joining us. Have a good night.